Organization says since the pandemic began, there's been a 25% increase in people suffering from anxiety and depression looking for help. Sometimes traditional therapy does not work. So 10 Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean explains a new option that some say saves lives. Headaches, no headaches. No, the first day Kimberly O'Neill is just finishing her first week of TMS therapy under the supervision of Dr. Khalid Bawarshi. Transcranial means through the skull and magnetic stimulation means that we use magnetic pulses to activate the brain to kind of get it back into normal function. All right, let me know if it bothers you, okay? Okay. And three, two, one. It just feels like somebody doing a really heavy duty massage where they're hitting it hard enough that when they're done, your scalp actually relaxes. Kimberly has suffered from severe bouts of depression for a long time and tried several different medications. She was ready for something new. So 20 years later, I'm over the medication. I would like to have my life back. I would like to enjoy the final third, what we call it, the final third. Dr. Bawarshi is dedicated to helping his patients do do just that. But TMS therapy does require a commitment five days a week for six weeks. Okay. When we do it repetitively like this, we train the brain back into normal function and normal rhythm. But again, it's non-invasive. The patient remains alert and active and can go about their day normally after the therapy. So when you have a treatment that patients are coming to me after they fail so many things, and then I provide this treatment and they're doing better, and they're so grateful because everything else did not work, that gives me that kind of satisfaction that I would not replace my job with the world. I'm so thrilled to be able to do this. Well, TMS has been an FDA-approved treatment for major depression since 2008. More insurances are covering it, but only after other medications and therapies have failed. Studies are still being done on how TMS can be used to help people. The FDA recently approved its use for treatment of anxiety disorder or anxious depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, and nicotine addiction as well. It's very interesting. Interesting indeed.